So here we're going to look at the adult skull again. I'm actually going to show you an inferior view. So if we take this and flip it over like this, we'll look at the bottom side or the inferior view. I'm going to remove the mandible for a second here. Let's look at a couple things from anterior to posterior. This is the maxillary bone, okay, part of the maxilla, part of that large facial bone. Posterior side of that is where we have the palatine bone, which makes up part of the hard palate. Down here we have the vomer. On either side of that we have the sphenoid bone. You'll notice you're looking at the bottom side of the inferior side of the zygomatic arch again. So zygomatic bone would be here. This is part of the temporal bone. And this leads into an area called the mandibular fossa. The mandibular fossa are where these mandibular condyles are going to sit. So these are going to go right in there and create that TMJ or temporal mandibular joint. Continue on in the posterior, we've got the mastoid processes on either side. We have the styloid processes here. These structures right here are called condyles. Okay, they're the occipital condyles. This is the occipital bone back here. These are the occipital condyles. So when we get to the vertebrae and we look at C1, it's going to sit right underneath here. Go right along these smooth ridges. Okay. Foramen magnum obviously is the large hole here. This bump that we have on the back side of our heads is called the external occipital protuberance. And if you look over here, it looks a little bit messy, like there's a whole bunch of holes. Let's go over four of them just to be clear about. Okay. This ovular shaped one right here is called the foramen ovale. The one on the medial side of that is the foramen lacerum. If we look right here, this is going to be the carotid canal. It's where the carotid artery is going to run. And then here is going to be the jugular foramen. That's where the jugular vein is going to drain from the brain.